watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. We're going to be taking a look at a Rough Rider Day. This one in the Buckshot Bone series. You can see the horse and, <clears throat> and carriage there. And uh, the Y spelling for Rough Rider, so it's a fairly modern one. Model number is RR2325. Always high quality handmade pocket knives. Got the smaller version of the magnetic closed box with the cutout. And let's just read this little blurb here. It says, The man who rode beside the driver to protect the coach was said to be riding shotgun because his gun of choice, the one that would deliver the most impact, was in fact the shotgun. In honor of the days gone by, Rough Rider introduced the buckshot bone handle. Addition knives to celebrate the colorful history of the shotgun and the men brave enough to carry them. So, there you go. You're going to ride shotgun. Again, Rough Rider model number 2325. We're looking at the Congress. This is a three and a half inch length knife and very narrow design. No more than about five eighths of an inch wide even with the top of the blades there so this is a very slim carry fits easily into the pocket you've got the buckshot bone handles here with red underliners and the diamond shaped shield with the back-to-back -back r on them and then the cc in the middle there which usually stands for you know, classic carbon, but not exactly sure why this series gets that shield, because I don't think these are carbon blades. Just your ordinary 440. You get the RT bolster here, and not just one side, but two sides. So you get two rectal thermometers for the price of one. And you got the stripe on the other side, the diagonal. And you've got nickel silver pins, and these bolsters are also nickel silver, and you get the pinch on the end. Now, I haven't, hold, haven't uh, reviewed many Congress, and uh, I would not say that this is a pattern in the top five of my favorites, but this particular one caught my eye because I feel like sort of a stylish style for Congress to have, and... I wanted something to fit into a slip that I own that's rather narrow. And we take a look at one of these slips, and I'll bring up where this is, can be bought on Smoky Mountain Knife Works. You see these are less than $3, and they're really narrow, so there's not a whole lot of knives that fit in there without being just really tight. But this, being so narrow as it is, fits in there quite well. And all you need to do to get it out is just kind of give it a little pinch on the bottom. It slides right out. So this is a perfect slip for a Congress if you're interested in trying to find something that'll fit that well. Again, I'll show you the link to that and where you can buy that on Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Now you can buy this knife on Smoky Mountain Knife Works as well. It's $15.99. And I think you can save a few pennies on Chicago Knife Works if you buy it there. Of course, you'll have to order more knives to get free shipping. And Smoky Mountain Knife Works is usually a little better about what you have to spend there to get free shipping. Probably about $75. And they often have free shipping on uh, holiday sales like Father's Day and Memorial Day, those sorts of things. 4th of July, I imagine they'll have something. So you may want to just kind of wait till there's a sale to get free shipping or at least reduced shipping. The amount of money you'd have to spend, sometimes it's like $35 instead of 75 But Smoky Mountain Knife Works does a good job of providing you some options. Now this buckshot bone here, you see it has the red underliners and then the brass liners and some pretty minor gaps here between the two springs. That 
if you're unfamiliar with the Congress, it has this bow shape to it. So it looks a little bit like a boomerang. Maybe not quite that pronounced, but same idea. Just a backward bend in the springs. And it gives you four small blades. Now this is not going to be a heavy use knife. And it's probably why I've not really given it a whole lot of attention on the channel. But it does provide some really interesting... Uh, blades and the design is not what I would consider unattractive. Uh, I just think the usefulness is maybe not what I expect from most pocket knives. But if you're just looking for a light duty knife with a lot of blades and don't want to have to sharpen it often, this is a right down your alley. You're going to have a nice little uh, sheep's foot blade here on the left side. And on the front here, and then a nice little thin pin blade. And these have really nice pulls on them, I'd say about a seven and a half. Half stops on both sides here. And you can see you get that back-to-back -back R tang stamp there. And this one gives you a nice squared long pull with the match strike on there. And a so pretty attractive blade shape, and then you get that reverse etch that says Rough Rider on it. And this one has the same tang stamp, and get the match strike pull on that one, and a little swedge on that blade as well. So pretty attractive little blades there, and they have really nice pull and snap. Walk and talk is great. And then on the back side, you got two more blades. Got this little coping blade on the right side, again with the half stop. And there's your Rough Rider Tang stamp, back to back R, match strike pull, and again, a little swedge on the end of that blade. And this one has just as good a snap as the other two. About a seven on this one, maybe? Yeah, yeah, about a seven. And then this side, you've got this nice larger sheep's foot blade and it's got another match strike long pole on it with some more switch on that one but this side not only does it have the RR tank stamp on it as you see here but on the reverse you get the model number which is model number 2325 and it says China Blue there. And then on the blade, that give you the blade steel. 4440 razor sharp steel. So these are all 440A stainless steel blades. And they're all mirror finished. They all have swedges. And they all have a match strike pole. Two with long poles and two with normal poles. All with half stops. And again, you get the RT bolster on one side and then the pinched single stripe bolster on the other and good good look at that shield there what I'm talking about with the middle section there and then you get this nice buckshot bone which does look like someone shot it with a shotgun so pretty fitting for the series and their little blurb there about riding shotgun and the stagecoach help protect all the people in the coach little old ladies got somebody riding shotgun but this is a nice uh, series of knives I've got a Barlow in this same pattern or same series I should say and uh, one of the very few congresses that I own you can see that uh, they do a real nice job with the blade spacing on these. The crinking is really good and they offset the blades in a very not, well, you know, basically uh, they put them in a way that you'd expect, you know, a very logical way, I should say. Whereas some of the stockmen, they just look like they're mishmashed together in any old fashion. These look like they have some thought behind it. And you don't have any blade rub as a result of that. So that's a really nice feature. 
But if you're just looking for four small blades, no heavy use, nice slender design to fit in a sheath such as this, little pocket slip, or just straight into your pocket, this is a great little, you know, front pocket knife. Not going to occupy too much space in there or cause you any trouble. And, uh, you know, the largest of the blades, you've got this... Uh, sheep's foot blade measuring it right about two inches uh, full length and it's got a cutting edge of uh, about one and three quarter inches and then that smaller blade on the other half same style blade here two inch blade cutting edge just shy of one and three quarter inches Then you got your pin blade. That's a total length of one and three quarter with cutting edge just shy of one and a half inches. And then the final little coping blade. It measures one and three quarter inches with the cutting edge of just about one and a half, maybe slightly over one and a half, one and five eighths maybe. But uh, nice little small blades again not gonna be a heavy use knife but if you're just looking for something to do a little cutting now and then and have a little blade in the pocket fantastic little knife again total uh closed length you've got just over three and a half i'd call it three and five eighths so very nice and tidy again not very wide say just about five eighths inches wide and again, perfect uh, knife for this slip. But that's going to do it for this review, fellas. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope the RT didn't wreck your opinion of this one. It's pretty small on there. You don't really notice it much. And you got this nice little diamond-shaped shield that doesn't really draw too much attention to the, you know, the beauty of the uh, buckshot bone there. So, cool little knife. Hope you enjoyed the review. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. And I'll see you next time, guys. Take care.